All right, so, you know, 50-50 heel hook defense or inverted heel hook defense uh, prevention is the best thing, I would say. Don't let them get there. If you end up here, hand fight, do stuff like that. So the escape I'm going to show is worst case scenario, okay, that like they've won the hand fight and they're going free heel, and I'm going to show you guys how I get out of it, okay? So say I'm here, Michael opens my legs up somehow, and he just locks on that invert, okay? Now, I'm pretty much toast here, but there are a couple tricks that you can do. Now, to heel hook someone, you know, and toe hold and ankle lock for that matter, they need a bent leg. A knee bar is the only one leg lock that works with a straight leg. So what I'm going to do is point my toes, okay? If you guys can see that, like if he un undoes the grip, right? I'm here and I, I'm pointing my toes. So lock it back up. Right there, he has the bite. If he goes to finish it, go ahead. Nut, nut is there, right? So once you feel this, right, buy yourself a few seconds, point your toes. Now, if he goes to crank it, see, there's nothing really there. Okay, like the leverage isn't there. He's still around it, but he doesn't quite have the deep bite that he has when it's here. So once you feel it, point the toes, okay? And yeah, I'm straightening my leg. Now, what I'm gonna do is go after this top side arm. So I'm gonna come in here. You guys can figure for it like a rear naked choke. You can grab this, but you need to get a hold of this, okay? So I don't care how you do it. So point your toes, you can come up here. Like I said, I don't really care. You can do this, that comes to preference. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna take my free leg and I'm just gonna kind of get it in here, push and start pulling my leg out here, right? Now it's gonna be really hard because he can still clamp this 50-50 this, this hook. So it's really gonna be hard for me to just swing my leg out. That's probably not gonna happen. So what I do here is while I'm holding this, I'm gonna bring this leg underneath this hamstring. I'm gonna lift and pull and now I'm out. Okay, I'll show it on the other leg so you can see it from another angle. Okay, again, this is worst case scenario, like he's went through all your defenses and he gets the heel. And you don't have much time here. So as soon as you feel him get around the heel, point your toes like a ballerina, it's straightening my leg. All he, you know, all he has to do is a, adjust to bend my leg again. He can come in and I'm gonna get caught. So once you're here, okay, grab this arm. Again, I don't care how you guys do it. There's excellent control here, but you don't have to just do it this way. You can come in here, however you wanna do it, but regardless, Again, now, this free foot, I'm gonna get it in on his arm here. And I'm like pinning his arm there. I'm pushing his arm away, so now he has nothing. And then I'm gonna start pulling this out, but this is still gonna be hard to get out. So once I'm here, I'm gonna let go. He can't come back after me at this point. Now I'm gonna get here, right? He can try doing stuff there. He has nothing. I'm gonna pull out, and I'm gonna come up, okay? So again, you know, best, the best uh, defense for all submissions is prevention. Don't let them get there. But sometimes when, you've, when you're in trouble deep, you need to know how to get out of it. There's always a chance, right? So again, if he gets a good bite and my leg's bent, I'm done. So as soon as I feel him, even if he doesn't get the bite, start pointing your toes anyway. So even if he goes and hooks the heel, there's not a lot there, right? But don't wait. You can do it as soon as you feel it or as soon as he gets it across. Start going here, either or, right? If I feel him hook it, point it. Or if he gets in the position and he hasn't hooked it, point it, okay? But I gotta get here. Because if he, if he hooks my heel with that, he has no leverage to finish it. He try, try. Nothing there, okay? Bring this in however you wanna do it, okay? I don't care what you guys do. Start pulling it out. Now, in theory, if his legs are wide open here, and I start pulling this out and say his legs are open, yeah, I could probably get up. And if, and if he presents that to you and that opportunity, take it and you're out. But a lot of times you're in 50-50 you're feeling his grip, he's still gonna have this pinched and bent really well. So my leg is still trapped even though my heel isn't. So I'm here, and like I said, regardless if I you hold this, start pulling this out and he's gonna bite it so I can't, you know, get out, bring this underneath, lift and pull, and here I am. Okay, so one more time. If they leave their legs open when you start defending it and you can just yank your leg right out, by all means do it, it's easier. I don't have to involve this leg. But anyone who's a good leg locker is never going to do that, okay? So he's going back. See, I'm already pointing my toes. That's slowing him down. You know, you can point the toes to defend or to prevent, okay? But I'm still in deep trouble here, right? Here, get that in there, okay? Now I'm getting it away from him. And like I said, if these are open, go. But they won't be when he gets a good leg locker. This leg is going to get trapped here. So I come here. Start lifting on his hamstring, pull, push, and pull. And there I am. Okay, it's a inverted heel hook escape or a heel hook escape from 50-50. Any questions?
guys.